Hinduism, they're not going to tell you that the Most High has a covenant with his chosen people. Because they want to say, well, this is for anybody and everybody. The Most High love everybody. That's not true. He does not love anybody. and He does not love everybody. <laughs> he doesn't have a covenant with everybody. Hallelujah. Exodus 3 and 6. And he said, I am the Elohim of your father, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Yazak, and the Elohim of Yaakov. And Moshe hid his face, for he was afraid to look at Elohim. And so the Most High called Moshe and said, I'm going to send you. To deliver my people out of Egypt. <laughs> and he told Moshe who he was. So Moshe wrote the first five books of the scriptures. The law. The Torah. Genesis. Exodus. Leviticus. Numbers and Deuteronomy. The Most High revealed his knowledge unto Moshe. Starting in Genesis even before he was born. And so the scriptures are written to, for, and about the chosen people. It's not written to, for, or about anybody else. People don't like to hear that because that excludes them. And your 501c3 corporation like to include everybody. That's what religion do does. It want to include everybody. <laughs> and they want to, all, all of the religions say, this is the best, this is the best. Our religion is the perfect religion or whatever. All the religions are going to be destroyed. And everybody that practices those religions. That's why the Most High told his people, come out of her, my people. The only people that are being deceived is the Most High's people. The 12 tribes of Israel. Because we're caught up in religion. We don't know who the Most High is anymore. Religions have deceived us. But we so caught up, we don't even know that we're deceived. <laughs> and we don't know that we're the chosen people. Exodus chapter 3, verse 15. Exodus three fifteen, And Elohim said further to Moshe, Thus you are to say to the children of Yisrael, Yahweh, Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, the Elohim of Yazak, and the Elohim of Yaakov has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my remembrance to all generations, meaning all the generations of Yisrael. He said, thus you are to say, to the children of Yisrael. That's who he is sending Moses to speak to. This is who the scriptures are written to, for, and about. The children of Yisrael. It has not changed. It will not change. <laughs> he said, I'm Yahweh, Elohim of your fathers, of Abraham, Yazak, and Yaakov. That's who I am. That's my name forever. So when you get to the New Testament, what's his name? The same as it is in the Old Testament. But again, the corporations, the Antichrist church system, your 501c3 corporations, all these different religions, all of them are 501c3 corporations. All of them are Antichrist church systems. They're deceiving you. They don't tell you who the chosen people are. Because since 1948, some people over in the land has occupied that land and called themselves Jews or Jewish. And so everybody just accepts those as the chosen people. But the scripture says they are the synagogue of Satan. They call themselves Jews and they do lie. They are not the people that the Most High call his people. They just practice a Judean religion. 
And so all these 501c3 corporations, they're deceived. And they're not telling you who you are. They're not telling you who the chosen people are. <laughs> and so and you're still going there every Sunday or some of you go on a Sabbath and you still don't acknowledge the Most High as the Most High of Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. You acknowledge your religion. I'm a Christian. I'm Islam. I'm Muslim. I'm I'm uh, uh, Judaism. I'm Catholic. <laughs> I'm Buddhist. I'm Hindu. You, everybody want to acknowledge their religions, but they don't want to acknowledge the Most High for who He is. Hallelujah. A lot of y'all are the chosen people. But y'all so caught up in all these different religions that you you don't want to acknowledge who you are. The only way you're going to acknowledge who you are is you're going to have to come up out of all these religions. Hallelujah. Amen. Exodus 3 and 7. And the Lord, Yahweh, said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. And have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters, for I know their sorrows. So Yahweh, he's watching over us then and now, all day, every day, wherever we are. He knows exactly who we are, where we are, <laughs> because we're his people. He said, I will never leave you or forsake you. And so he said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people. So he's watching over us. And he's seen what has been done to us. He said, I have seen the affliction. I've seen how they've been treated. Then and now. He knows exactly what we all are going through. What we've been through. From the beginning to the end. He knows it. He sees it. He said, my people, of my people. He has a people. He's not talking about anybody and everybody in the whole wide world. He's talking about a specific people that are called by his name. He said, my people. I know what they've been going through. I know about all the afflictions that they've been suffering, which are in Egypt. <laughs> we were in Egypt then and we're in Egypt now. They may not call it Egypt, but we were brought here in captivity. <laughs> so we're still in the land of our captivity. The scripture says I'm, he would send us to Egypt again in ships. So we're in Egypt again. That's what the scripture says. <laughs> Those are the markers that tell us who we are as a people. But again, y'all rather believe all these different religions than just accept what the scripture says. Because to believe what the scripture says is going to change anything and everything that you think you know. Everything. Is, every, everything is going to change. You have to change. And a lot of y'all, whatever reason, you're comfortable in your religion. And you're satisfied. Maybe you're profiting in your religion, especially all these 501c3 corporations, pastors, preachers, and teachers. They're profiting, <clears throat> keeping you fat and happy, dumb and happy. <clears throat> and so you don't want to change because to follow the Most High is going to cost you anything and everything. It's going to cost you your very life. And a lot of y'all are not willing to give your life for the kingdom of heaven. But that's, that's what we're supposed to be living for is the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is for Israel. But it's going to cost you your life. He said, the scripture said, whoever seeks to save their life shall lose it. But whoever seeks to lose their life.